Quite simply, the main objective of the sport of basketball is to put the ball in the hoop more than the other team. The ability to create space allows us as offensive players to have an advantage on those guarding us. Pascal Siakam is a professional when it comes to his ability to create space. Whether it's in the post or on the perimeter, the ability of Pascal to create space led him to average 22.8 points per game on 50% shooting during the 2021-2022 NBA season. Knowing what Pascal does to create space is not the only important factor when studying his game. Being able to understand why he is doing the things he is doing is how we as aspiring professional basketball players can implement these details into our own games. With that being said, I'm excited to bring to you Pascal Siakam creating space in the post. Here's the first clip we're going to look at today. Pascal playing in the post, Pat Connaughton guarding him. Check out my video on Pat Connaughton. I'll let the clip run through, then we'll go through it. Something very subtle in this clip right here that I want you guys to see, right? So he catches the ball, he catches it kind of far out. We don't necessarily want to operate in the post with back to the basket from that far out. Unless you're a guy like Kobe, like Mike, like Kawhi, like PG, guys who can just fade over either shoulder, you know, that super jump shot. Pascal can hit it, but that's not his game. That's not his specialty, right? So he lets the cutter go through. Right, get the help. You don't want a strong side help to be digging at the ball. He lets him go through. Immediately, he tries to take up middle, right? Middle. We always try to get to the middle as offensive players because the middle allows you to see both sides of the floor. So immediately watch his off arm. Something little like that. He's using his off arm, trying to get any advantage he can. Try to push Pat Connaughton back. Trying to get that little bit of space. Get his arm over him so he can get that step in front of him, right? So we see Pascal bump. Pat's doing a good job staying with him. He bumps him, right? Well, Pascal's stronger than Pat. So when you're bumping guys as a stronger player, right, these guys are going to have to put that much more force into fighting that bump. Pat Connaughton's going to have to put that much more force on the next bump. But look what Pascal does. He bumps him. First bump. Bumps him. Pat Connaughton says, oh, shoot, I got to put more force in. Gets ready. Loads up. See how he's leaning forward? He's trying to fight that bump, but Pascal knows he's going to do that. So Pascal immediately spins off, right? He's using his momentum against him. So that spin happens very effectively, especially after one or two bumps, which oftentimes when you watch Pascal in the post, he does. Pascal spins and look at his elbow. See his elbow right here? This elbow's on his back. Pascal, he always sticks his elbows out in the post. Right? When you stick your elbows out, as long as they're not flared too much, and sometimes even if they are, it's a hard call, they're not going to call an offensive foul. But notice how Pat, look at Pat Connaughton's body as he hits him with the elbow. Boom. Look at that. Look at Pascal. Wide open lane to the layup because of it. So that elbow is the key that I want us to focus on. That's the, the premise of this first clip is that wide elbow. Look at his elbows. Elbow, elbow, use it to shield, pushes Pat Connaughton out of his way, layup. Fuck it. Here's a second clip. All right, this is a tough position right off the rip. First of all, he fumbles the ball. He loses it a little bit. Second of all, he's got this defender here, right? So he has to work in tight quarters. Defender's got the shooter. He's jabbing at him, whatever. What I want us to focus on is two things in this clip. First of all, Pascal bumps. As he's going into bump, that's when he starts to spin, right? So he's dribbling, and as he goes into bump, Bump right here, he's spinning. But let's look at his feet. Look at his feet straight down, right? He's trying to step this foot on the out, right on the outside foot. Ideally, he'd be able to step this foot around this leg, plant his foot behind this foot because you're completely cut off. But this is still a good angle in the spin. That's why he gets, oftentimes, he gets his spins off effectively because he takes a good angle. Secondly, as in the first clip, look at his elbow, right? Let's see that left elbow. You see it's wide right here. Look what it ends up doing, trapping his arm under. It's kind of like that James Harden that he used to do when he would wait for you to reach, and then he would just stick his arms out under yours and bring the ball up so your arms are across his arms as they're bringing it up for the shot, right? 
the same concept. But this is what the elbow allows you to do, this wide elbow. As long as you're not sticking it and hitting people in the face, you should be good. But he gets the foul. He's at the free throw line. I want us to see the importance of really being physical in the post, right? Bumping your defender one, two, three times, however many times you want to do it, but get physical, right? Don't do it to the point where you're getting an offensive foul and you can flop. But notice how physical Pascal is. Let's go quarter speed. Notice how physical he is in the post, right? He's facing up. He's looking. He's reading. He does that little KG, right? We want to see he does that to see without having to turn his whole head around to kind of feel and see, more so to feel, how his defender is guarding him, right? If he feels his defender pressed up against him, he's going to use his defender's momentum against him and spin off, right? Or rip through and get a foul. If he feels his hand is pressing his back, kind of like how P.J. Uh, Washington has a little bit of space, then he's going to attack it a whole lot differently, right? Well, let's watch. One bump. What it forces P.J. to do? Bumps him. P.J.'s coming up, getting ready for another bump right there, right? He gets bumped. Bump him. P.J. bumps back, jumps back a little bit. Now he's P.J.'s trying to come up, getting ready for another bump. Look what Pascal does. He gets his shoulder by him, right? Features anticipating another bump. So that's using the defender's momentum against him. That's why Pascal so many times is able to spin off, is able to drive right by, get a foul, right? Gets right by him. That might have been an offensive foul, but the concept of getting by somebody and using this off arm, right? We love that. Two feet in the paint, floats it, gets the bounce off the rim. This is the last clip, and guess what I'm going to harp on? Pascal bumping, right? We're just going to watch Grant Williams guarding him in this clip, okay? So, get in the lane, right? Pascal gets in the lane, bumps one. Grant takes it. He sees that Pascal's getting ready for another bump. What does he do? Look. Look his positioning. He's, his leg is pressed back. He's pressing everything he can to fight this bump. He's trying to fight Pascal bumping against him, right? Where's his momentum going? His momentum is going, Grant Williams' momentum is going this way, right? Going to the left, going forwards. What does Pascal do? Spins off of it. He uses it against him. That's all you have to do in the post is you feel how your defenders, you, when you see KG Kobe doing that lean back, like we talked about, that subtle thing in that clip with PJ Washington, right? We're feeling how the defender's playing us. We're feeling how can we use the defender's momentum or lack thereof to create a shot for us. Grant Williams leans forward. Pascal oftentimes is already going to the spin, elbow, right? Gets to layup, easy buck.